Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lazy Designs here and in this tutorial we're going to obviously continue with the grass text tutorial. Um, last part we went through how to create our grass text um, cutout um, that looks like a font. So what I've done next is obviously cut out the rest of the letters that you should have done and um, I'm going to applaud you for doing that because um, it was hard work um, but it does worth it at the end. Um, so the next thing I've done is after I had all my cutouts um, I just grouped them together and named it grass letters and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this group duplicate group and we're going to name this um, grass letters backup because what we're going to do is we're going to merge this group together and um, in case we mess something up then we can always come back to the cutout um, and uh, reuse it so just move it to the bottom and turn it off um, so in case uh, we mess something up we can just come back and start again so after you've done that you can delete um, you can delete the type or you can just hide it and then what we're going to do is just merge this group so select everything in that group and then control E to merge and then we're going to start applying some effects so double click your layer and the first thing we're going to do is bevel and emboss so if you come down to bevel and emboss and just pay attention to the settings so style is going to be screen if I find it, oh sorry, we're going to do um, satin first, so if you set the blend mode to screen, we should be somewhere about here, there we go, and we're just going to pick um, a green colour um, from our texture, um, probably about that green, well you can see how it changes your text. Uh, you can pick a darker one or a lighter one, but I'm going to pick somewhere in the middle. Um, they should probably do it, so I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to set the opacity to about 13%. And what else should we change? We should change the distance to about um, 10 pixels. And we should also change the size to about 15 pixels. Um, the contour, we're also going to change that. Um, if you click on the little arrow next to it, then all these presets will pop up. And we're going to pick one with the big peak and then the little peak next to that. So we're going to select that. And we're going to leave everything else that it is, as it is. Then we're going to come up to bevel and emboss. And uh, we're going to... Um, do an inner bevel technique is going to be smooth depth is going to be 100 percent direction is going to be up size is going to be roughly about 10 pixels should do the trick i think um uh, soften zero pixels at the global um shading we're gonna take off use global light and also <coughs> for the gloss contour you're going to set this um, to something else so if I you click on an arrow again find the one with um, two peaks um, and we're going to use that you might be going crazy now that if you're ruining our text bar uh, um, I assure you that it's going to look better so for the highlight mode we're going to set that to um, overlay and then we're going to set this also to about 15 maybe 20% we will play around that later um, the shadow mode is going to stay on multiply black colour and we'll also turn this down to about 25% um, we might reduce that later on but for now leave it about 25% um, so after we done this what we're going to do next is we're going to duplicate that layer and we're going to clear out all the um, layer styles because we're going to add some more to it. So if we just duplicate this layer. And also we're going to set the opacity to about 51%. Might 
on that layer and I'm just going to um, hide effects for now because we're going to start adding some more effects to this um, in the next step. So the next thing we're going to do after we created um, the duplicate of that layer is we're going to come into the layer styles and we're going to do drop shadow. So if you check in drop shadow and set it to multiply and we're going to leave the opacity at about 35% should do it. Uh, use global light is ticked off. We're going to set the distance to about 2 pixels and the size to about 1 pixel. We're also going to leave the quality as it is and we're going to leave everything else as it is. So the next layer style that we're going to be doing is bevel and emboss again. So if you come into bevel and emboss, turn that on, you're going to do an inner bevel, again, smooth. Depth is going to be 100% um, size and soften. It should be about one pixel for the size and soften is zero. We're going to leave these as it is and we're just going to change the gloss contour uh, again to back to default which is this one I think. We're also going to set the highlight mode to screen. If I find it where it is, that's where it is. And we're going to leave the color as white, opacity as 0% and we're going to change the shadow mode to multiply, black color and there's going to be 100% opacity. So now that we got our second layer style, we're going to create um, the shadow behind the text, right? So now that we've got these two sorted, make sure that the opacity of the second layer style is at 51% and um, then we can start creating the shadow for the um, text that will make it stand out a lot more. It will look way a lot better than um, it looks now. It will actually um, make it look a bit like as if it is a 3D text. Um, so you're going to leave that part for um, the third part of the series. So thanks for watching guys. I hope that um, your text turn out similar to mine. Well, it should turn out exactly the same. If not, you can play around more with the effects. Um, see um, what it changes, you know, as if you play around with the opacity and so on and so on. Um, see what effects you get and uh, you can change them to that accordingly. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, favorite and leave a comment. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you guys in the next episode.